may apat na bahagi ang magdamagang pagdiriwang ng Pasko ng pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. Pagbabasbas ng apoy, salita ng Diyos, binyag, Eukaristiya. Babasbasan ang bagong apoy sa simula ng pagdiriwang at sisindihan ang kandilang pampaskwa na sasagisag kay Kristong ilaw. Pangungunahan ng kandilang pampaskwa ang pagpasok sa simbahan. Kung paanong ginabayan at pinangunahan ng haliging apoy ang bayan ng Israel sa paglalakbay patungong lupang pangako, si Jesus na liwanag ang gagabay sa bayang Diyos sa paglalakbay sa lupang pangako ng langit. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan. Aawitin muli ang papuri sa Diyos at aliluya matapos ang ilang linggong hindi ito inawit. Siyam ang pagbasa sa gabing ito. Tila sagot ito sa tanong ng batang hudyo sa hapon ng Pampaskwa. Anong kaibahan ng gabing ito sa lahat ng mga gabi? Ilalahad ang kasaysayan ng kaligtasan sa mga pagbasa. Para sa mga bibinyagan, paalala ito na sa binyag na tatanggapin nila, magiging bahagi sila ng kasaysayan ng kaligtasan. Pagkatapos ng bawat pagbasa at salmo, may panalanging pamumunuan ng pari na hihiling sa Diyos na kung paano siya kumilo sa nakaraan, kung paanong ipinamalas niya ang kanyang kagandahang loob at katapatan, ipamalas niya rin ito ngayon sa kanyang simbahan, lalo na sa mga bibinyagan. Gaganapin ang pagbibinyag ng mga magiging mga bagong kasapi ng sambayan ng Kristiyano. Sa binyag, Malalapat ang kanilang buhay sa kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Magiging kabahagi sila ng simbahan ang katawan ni Kristo. Kukumpilan din ang mga bininyagan upang pasimula ng pakikisalo nila sa misyon ng Mesiyas na magpahayag ng mabuting balita, humilong at magpalaya sa masasamang espiritu. Sasariwain din ng mga binyagan ang mga pangako nila nang sila ay binyagan. Sabi nga ni San Ambrosio, kakapit tayo sa mga pako ng krus ni Kristo upang hindi tayo maagaw ng pagsilo ng demonyo. Tatanggapin ng mga bagong binyag ang katawan at dugo ni Kristo sa komunyon. Ang muling nabuhay ni Jesus ang mag-aanyaya sa atin sa hapag ng kanyang katawan at dugo. Matapos nating marinig muli ang kwento ni Jesus at maipagdiwang ang pagpapakasakit, kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, hubugin nawa tayo ng kwento ni Jesus upang isang araw ay masabi natin katulad ni San Pablo, hindi na ako ang nabubuhay kundi si Kristo ang nabubuhay sa akin. Before the Mass Prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect.
brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to His Word and celebrating His mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing His triumph over death and living with Him in God. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. All time belongs to him, and all the ages to him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. By this holy and glorious wounds. May Christ the Lord <clears throat> guard us and protect us. Amen. May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds.
Lumen Christi. Lumen Christi. Lumen Christi.
Brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved His people, and in this, the last days, has sent us His Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. Please be seated. You may now put off the lights of your candles. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. 
male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloth. You fix the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean as with a garment, you covered it. Above the mountains, the waters stood. You send forth springs into the water courses that wind among the mountains. Beside them, the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches, they send forth their song. You water the mountains from your palace. The earth is replete with the fruit of your works. You raise grass for the cattle, the vegetation for man's use, producing bread from the earth. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrote them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul.
A reading from the book of Genesis. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your holy one or your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moria. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved one. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing all this because you obeyed my command the word of the lord Thanks be to God. allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. 
With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Let us pray. O God, Supreme Father of the faithful, who increased the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery make your servant Abraham father of nations, as once you swore, grant we pray that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff, and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God, who had been leading Israel's camp, now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them, so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers 
went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch, just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. And he so clagged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its meads. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus, the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore, and beheld the great power that the Lord has shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in Him and in His servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord, I will sing to the Lord, for He is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant, horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God. I praise him, the God of my Father. I exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he has hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. The flood 
waters covered them, they sank into the depth like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. brought in the people you redeemed and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about us the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The one who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit a wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandoned you, but with great tenderness, I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you, but with enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, where I swore that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn out to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. O afflicted one, storm-battered and unconsoled, I lay your pavements in carnelians and your foundations in sapphires. I will make your battlements of rubies, your gates of carbuncles, and all your walls of precious stones. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. In justice shall you be established, far from the fear of oppression, where destruction cannot come near you. The Word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. For you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. to the Lord, you, his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime, his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, surpass for the honor of your name what you pledged to the patriarch by reason of their faith, and through sacred adoption, increase the children of your promise, so that what the saints of old never doubted would come to pass, your church may now see in great part fulfilled through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? your wages for what fails to satisfy. Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant that benefits assured to David as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations 
that knew you not shall run to you because of the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel who has glorified you seek the Lord while he may be found call him while he is near let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts let him turn to the Lord for mercy to our God who is generous in forgiving for my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways says the Lord as high as the heavens are above the earth so high are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts for just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth making it fertile and fruitful giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth my word shall not return to me void but shall do my will achieving the end for which i sent it the word of the lord thanks be to god God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. to the Lord for his glorious achievement let this be known throughout all the earth shout with exultation O city of Zion for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people 
for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Hear, O Israel, the commandments of life. Listen and know prudence. How is it, Israel, that you are in the land of your foes, grown old in a foreign land, defiled with the dead, accounted with those destined for the nether world? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom. Had you walked in the way of God, you would have dwelt in enduring peace. Learn where prudence is, where strength, where understanding, that you may know also where are length of days and life, where light of the eyes and peace. Who has found the place of wisdom? Who has entered into her treasuries? The one who knows all things knows her. He has probed her by his knowledge. The one who established the earth for all time and filled it with four-footed beasts. He who dismisses the light and it departs, calls it, and it obeys him trembling. Before whom the stars at their posts shine and rejoice. When he calls them, they answer, Here we are, shining with joy for their Maker. Such is our God. No other is to be compared to him. He has traced out the whole way of understanding and has given her to Jacob, his servant, to Israel, his beloved son. Since then, she has appeared on earth and moved among people. She is the book of the precepts of God, the law that endures forever. All who cling to her will live, but those will die who forsake her. Turn, O Jacob, and receive her. Walk by her light toward splendor. Give not your glory to another, your privileges to an alien race. Blessed are we, O Israel, for what pleases God is known to us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart, the command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Lord, 
The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Let us pray. O God, who constantly increase your church by your call to the nations, graciously grant that those you wash clean in the waters of baptism the assurance of your unfailing protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel live in their land, they defiled it by their conduct and deeds. Therefore, I poured out my fury upon them because of the blood that they poured out on the ground, and because they defiled it with idols. I scattered them among the nations, dispersing them over foreign lands. According to their conduct and deeds, I judged them. But when they came among the nations, wherever they came, they served to profane my holy name. Because it was said of them, These are the people of the Lord, yet they had to leave their land. So I have relented because of my holy name, which the house of Israel profaned among the nations where they came. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Not for your sakes do I act, house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you profaned among the nations to which you came. I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. 
The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God amid loud cries of joy and thanksgiving with a multitude keeping festival. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then I will give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. Let us pray. O God of unchanging power and eternal light, look with favor on the wondrous mystery of the whole Church and serenely accomplish the work of human salvation which you planned from all eternity. May the whole world know and see that what was cast down is raised up, what had become old is made new, and all things are restored to integrity through Christ, just as by Him they came into being, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Let us pray. O oh God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, steer up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we, who were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too might think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Most Reverend Father, I bring you a message of great joy, the message of Alleluia.
right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the words of the After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus, the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. 
Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Your Excellency, Most Reverend Charles Brown, Papal Nuncio to the Philippines, Concelebrating Priests, Assisting Deacons, Persons in Consecrated Life, Seminarians, Dear Brothers and Sisters in Christ. Tonight, we gather here at the Manila Cathedral to celebrate the most significant event in the Christian faith, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We recall the joyous day when Christ rose from the dead, conquering sin and death, and bringing new life to all who believe in Him. On this holy night, we also celebrate the sacrament of baptism, which is a profound symbol of our participation in the death and resurrection of Jesus. In baptism, we die to our old selves, and we rise with Christ to a new life. As we witness the baptism of our brothers and sisters tonight, let us remember the importance of this sacrament in our Christian lives. Baptism is not just a ritual or a tradition. It is a personal commitment to live our lives as followers of Christ. It is a public declaration that we choose to be part of the community of faith and that we are willing to walk the journey of faith with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Through baptism, we are joined to the body of Christ and we become members of His Church. And as we light the Paschal candle and proclaim the resurrection of Christ, we are also reminded of the power of the light of Christ. This light represents the triumph of life over death, 
and it serves as a symbol of hope and renewal for all of us. Through our baptism, we are united with Christ in his death and resurrection, and we are called to share in his mission to bring light into the world. As we continue on our journey of faith, let us always remember the importance of working together in the spirit of synodality, and let us never lose sight of the light of Christ that guides us along the way. As a community of faith, we are called to respond to the resurrection of Christ with love and devotion. We are called to share the good news of Christ's victory over sin and death with the world around us. We are called to be witnesses to the grace and mercy of God and to show that same grace and mercy to others. As we celebrate the resurrection of Christ tonight, let us renew our commitment to Him and to His Church. Let us remember the promises we made our, at our own baptism and let us live out those promises in our daily lives. Let us be a community of love, supporting one another as we journey together in faith. May this Easter Vigil be a reminder to us of the power of Christ's resurrection and the importance of our participation in His Church. Let us go forth from this holy night filled with joy and hope, and let us be the light of Christ to the world around us. Amen. Please stand. Dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of this, our brothers and sisters, in their blessed hope, so that as they approach the font of rebirth, the Almighty Father may bestow on them all His merciful help. Say, Joseph, 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 say
Almighty ever-living God, be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism, so that what is to be carried out by our humble service may be brought to, a fu may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, Go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with Him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Do you renounce Satan? I do. 
Aidu. Show. Aidu. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. Ever rose. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Joben, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Evero San Joben, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourselves in Christ. Receive this baptismal garment and bring it unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have everlasting life. Godparents, please come forward to give to the newly baptized the light of Christ. You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom.
please all stand. My dear newly baptized, born again in Christ by baptism, you have become members of Christ and of His priestly people. You are now to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon His apostles at Pentecost and given to them and their successors to the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are, you are to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to His suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the Church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that He will pour out the Holy Spirit on this newly baptized to strengthen them with His gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence, through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Ever rose, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Joben, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As a sign of welcome, let us give our newly baptized sisters a warm round of applause. Please all stand. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church.
And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of, pay, of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, filled with Paschal joy, let us offer our prayers to God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, full of trust in his power and love. Let us say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the people of God, that the mystery of the resurrection resonate throughout the whole world through the genuine witnessing of Christians in their offering of themselves, in the service for the life of those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. For our new sisters in Christ, that they may live up to their baptismal promises, preserve themselves in the grace of God, and be active members of our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. For the whole world, that human society may cultivate a culture of life and sharing, and so uplift those who are dying of poverty, oppression, and war, so that the world may truly know that peace that Christ's resurrection brings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. For our brothers and sisters who are suffering, that their sorrow may be changed into joy, their grief be turned into rejoicing, and their seeming death be transformed into the fullness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. For our Christian community, that it may bear witness to the mystery of the resurrection of the Lord and help make this mystery real in the lives of all its members and especially in the lives of those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. For ourselves, that as we renew our baptismal promises, we may better live out our Christian faith in our thoughts, words, and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, graciously hear, hear us. us. All-powerful God and Father, you raised your Son from the dead as a promise and foretaste of what is to come to your people. Hear the prayers of the people your Son has gained for you and grant us your grace and new life in you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. You may now put off the lights of your candles.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my mind, roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and his, in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten Son endow you with the Spirit with the price of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and be witnesses to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.